We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Chicago Cubs and the Baltimore Orioles. The Cubs are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Alex Cobb, a Massachusetts born right hander, will get the start in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, it'd be a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Chris Bryant. infield in the overshift here now the pitch this is line to left Santander's got it and there's one away with that a look at the Cubbies starting lineup Mark DeRosa tell us about this lineup and how they continue the winning streak Maddie, this lineup is built on one thing and that's moving the ball over the fence this is a station to station team not a lot of speed in this lineup but they don't need much speed when they're moving traffic to both gaps. In is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. As he'll take a look at ball one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Hey Dero, James Kingsley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up and he's always approachable. Bases are empty, one man out. Good swing just a little early and he'll see another payoff pitch. Not surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side on to Davis at first and there are two away. Patton third. The football. So in now for Chicago, Javier Baez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. Here's a huge swing by Baez and a ball sent to deep left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo home run there for Javi Baez. Home run number five on the year. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Love to homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. He'll enter play right at 333. Five homers and 14 driven in. A ball and a strike. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. 
foul tip that's held on to at the plate and the count moves to one and two now. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and he can't believe it. I don't blame him but the inning is over. The right-hander from Japan will get the starting assignment in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the stretch. Okay. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. Schwarber is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Nero, what do you got in this lineup in the series opener? I got that this lineup, Maddie, in Oriole Park likes to swing the bats. This place plays small. This place has a low wall. You can drive it out pretty much line to line, and there's a lot of room to be a hero in this yard. In there, 0-1. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Smoke toward third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw gets him, two down. Now with the play, Trey Mancini. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Half is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. In now, Jason Hayward. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Jason Hayward. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a chopper down the first baseline. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. Kyle Schwarber comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. One and one to Schwarber. And he fouls this one off. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early one nothing. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Again, a one two. I got to tell two and three. Now, 
a swing and a miss he struck him out and it's two up two down to start the second. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Anthony Rizzo. First delivery to him on the way. Wind up and the 0 1. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Scooped up. Throw on to Davis. Takes care of him and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Who played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Renato Nunez. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line hard to the left side, but foul. The 0 and 1 delivery. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Well, we all know he's going to get strikeouts when he's on the mound. It's kind of his thing. The key for the offense is to actually make them work for him, so that three-pitch see you later isn't going to help very much. In now, Dwight Smith Jr. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Up around the chin there, 2 0. Oh. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in, 2 0. Oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. There's a swing and a high pop up. Bryant waits on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Darvish pauses. Here's his offering. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Bases are empty here with two men out. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Ian Happ. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Happ is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat path. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. The plate hit now hit. is the designated David. hitter, David Bodie, Bodie, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. First pitch is a fastball inside, one and zero. Oh. Here it comes. 2 and 0. Oh. 
Two balls and a strike. Three and one. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Here's Chris Bland now. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And now a pitch on the way. Hold one to count. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. And on 0 and 2 he misses with a fastball. Two out, nobody on. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Cubs are down in order, but they're up one to nothing. Austin Hayes the next to bat. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Heading out towards shallow right. Oh, and he misses it. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no put-away pitch, works the count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. Standing in, Austin wins. with the first pitch here it comes and he starts the number eight hitter with a strike nothing in one Hayes gets his lead at first nobody out and it's fouled away here's Darvish on 0 and 2 fouled off The 0 2 once more he is swung on and missed strike three. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Oh. Davis. Who's often called Crush Davis? He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. 
swing and a miss got him reaching. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single in the scoring position. They have clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now. Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And this is taken. It's a ball and a strike now to the Baltimore shortstop. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Full count three and two. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home hit in the air out to center field. Hap will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Orioles leave one. They trail this one one to nothing. Now at the plate Jason Kipnis he starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here. I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch of the at bat. After watching that one go by and a ball being called you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Now the 1 0 misses ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes into the flag court and gone. It's a solo homer here for Jason Kipnis. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Cubs are out in front now two to nothing. Hey listen there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup so a home run a solo home run right here is not the end of the world. And that brings up now Javi Baez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And as you see there, just one mile an hour separating these two arms so far. 96 on one hand, 95 on the other. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Contreras, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He's a five year vet at the major league level. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. The 1 1. No. Inside. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. He's fallen behind now, three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. He loses him on ball four. Well he walked him on five now pitches but that last right pitch Huber. was really He's good. He missed Huber. down but only by a hair. When a hitter has a three one count he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. First pitch on its way. Jason Hayward comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play 
and that pitch certainly has enough depth on it to get him a ground ball. Lifted the other way to left center. Hayes calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Now batting left fielder Kyle Schwarber. So striding forward now Kyle Schwarber. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First offering on its way. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Cubs get a run here thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 2 0 Chicago. Late Ramon Urias. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Popped him up. Contreras is there. One out. In now for the O's. Trey Mancini. He flew out in his last at bat. He set and the pitch. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And that's a fair ball as it'll head toward the scoreboard. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. When it left his bat, I thought it might go foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Here's Renato Nunez as Darvish will jump ahead of him here with strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. In today's game it's seeing so many guys strike out and not worry about it. I'd love to see a little two strike approach right here. Maybe shorten up a little bit and try and four speed something the other way. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Renato Nunez becomes out number two this inning. At the plate, Dwight Smith Jr. As he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. He popped out in his first trip. Grounded to short. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. One left for the Orioles. They're still down. It's 2 0. Back here with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the left handed hitting power threat Anthony Rizzo starts out the inning. Now the pitch. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. The 0 1. Nope. And he misses with it 1 and 1. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. In there, two and two.
ball three. Three and two now. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Stepping in, Ian Happ. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The 1 0 home is looked at for ball number two. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. He's set. Here's the two two. A swing and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. Into the bleachers and gone. A two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number three here in the early going. And with it, the Cubs have moved out in front now, four to nothing. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. He better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone, or that total might continue to rise. At the plate now, now David Bodie. Davis. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Two balls and no strikes to the Cubs designated hitter. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Three and oh now. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Line drive to center field into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. So it's back to the top of the order now, and into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's this out. The 1 0 home. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the now middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he has signaled to the bullpen. That's going to be all for his starter, Alex Cobb. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Brandon Bailey will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Number 59, Brandon Bailey.
Into the box now, Jason Kipnis. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And a strike to even the count. One and one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Misses. Ball two. Four runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded cleanly to Iglesias for one. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two-run home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 4-0 Chicago. Welcome back to Baltimore as we send you down to check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Okay, thank you, Heidi. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Anthony Santander is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. That's a ball. I got one ball, one strike. This is in the air out to right. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. Now batting, Austin Hayes. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Late that time for a strike. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. And the pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout, and with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Stepping in now, Austin wins. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Left side. Baez has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down four nothing. Stepping into the box, Javier Baez. He'll look to get things going here in the Cubs' half of the sixth. First offering on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Ground ball, foul down the left side. The 1-1 one, one home. Whoa, that's down. Back up the middle. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. 
Santander comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now batting right fielder. So that'll bring Jason up Jason Hayward. Hayward. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hit out towards second. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Now batter, the left fielder, Kyle Warburg. So now to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 0 1 pitch is taken for ball one. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here now the 2-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three the times he's gone down on strikes four. in this one. Anthony. So they really figured out how to attack this guy. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The 0 1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Davis has it, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Cubs strand a couple, but they're in front, four to nothing. Chris Davis at the plate now. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Lays off 1 0. And he fouls this one off. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. In now, Jose Iglesias. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Softly hit to short. He's got it. And there are two away now. now Ready once again, Ramon Urias. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. And that misses inside 1 0. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. 2-0 now. Darvish pauses. Here's the pitch. Hey. Strike, two called, and it's even at two. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. 2 2 pitches fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ballgame, and that ends the inning. 1 2 3 go the Orioles.
They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. A hit in two tries for him so far. Fielder, number eight, Ian Happ. First pitch on its way. And the pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Hayes on the run for it to the track. He can't get there in time. And now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Well, he definitely puts a charge into this one. And the outfielder has zero chance to make a play on it. Next thing you know, the relievers in the pen have another ball to warm up with. Into the box, David Bodie. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. That's 2 and 0 now. Two balls, no strike. Two and one after the foul ball there. Four runs, seven hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Hard hit ball to short. Iglesias is up with it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now batting. The third baseman. Chris Bryant. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Chris Bryant. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. One out and a runner on second base. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Half rounds third and is digging for the plate. He comes across to score as they extend the lead to five zip. Now back, second base. Jason. Into the box, Jason Kipnis. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Come down now. The next 0 2 misses and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. You know, there aren't many guys that could just spit on an 0 2 pitch like that. Maybe it fooled him. We won't ever know, but it worked out. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches the there in advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Here's Javier Baez as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. So far, two for three in this one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. A runner on first with two away. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And boy, the Cubs have come to play as this is good for extra bases as well. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put Goodwood on it. Wade LeBlanc comes on now looking for the final out of the inning to strand the two runners in scoring position. 
So here's the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Second and third, two away. And oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Now the 2 1 is laid off of for ball number three. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3 1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Not definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full 3 and 2. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3 1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit change up or do you stay with the heater? And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And this is the right move here with first base open. Take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. Here's Jason Hayward now. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like that. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And he's safe. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches. You get two outs, and all of a sudden, you give up that big base hit that drives into frustrating for a pitcher. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kyle Schwarber. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So three runs on four hits here. No errors. And two men left on base. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Cubbies are in front, seven to nothing. Bottom of the inning now. Ready now, Trey Mancini. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. One ball, one strike, the count. The 1-1 home. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The 1-2 he is swung on and missed. He got him. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Standing in now, Renato Nunez, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Cutter low, one and one. Count is one and two now. Hit softly on the ground to first. Right to him. And he'll step on He's first up. himself for the out. Now batting. The designated hitter. White, White. Smith. Junior. At the plate, Dwight Smith Jr. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. Now the 0 1. 
pulls this one into the air out into right field. Hayward will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're the swinging at the right pitches the and doing baseman, damage with them. The numbers Anthony back that up. Five Ruka. extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Under it is Hayes, and that's the first out of the inning. The center field Time to take a look eight. at our starter comparison Ian to this point, and the Pat. telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. The next cub up, Ian Happ. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D Rowe, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The one-two, breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Now that now it'll be the Cubs' DH, David, David Bodie. He was a Bode. ground out victim last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage, and he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. Reined in. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs, but they're still in control, seven to nothing. At the plate, Anthony Santander, 0 for 2 on his Leading line thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far, this one, as we Anthony. move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. The cutter runs outside, ball one. No one out with a runner at second. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Cut fastball is in for a strike, two and one. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there, two and two. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Now this is where a strikeout pitcher has such a big advantage. Runner on second and no outs is definitely a strikeout situation in order to keep that runner from getting to third with less than two outs. When you can do it, it changes the whole strategy of the inning. Even a ground ball to the right side makes this a lot more dangerous situation. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Now after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. Here's Chris Davis now. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Two out here and a runner at second. Yeah, 
Darvish pauses. Here's the 0-1. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Oh. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Ball. I really like watching Roddy throw that cutter in on a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it Orioles leave one they need to get something cooking here it's seven nothing. Sean Armstrong enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Chris Bryant. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Leading off for the Cubs, the third baseman. He's ready. Chris Here's the first offering. Ryan. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging Ryan. strike here. Nothing in one. Hey. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. Now the pitch and a good hard slider is this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth really good late bite on that now slider that, right there second the best day. ones have that Deep late day. action that just darts Deep at day. the last minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch at the plate Jason Kipnis as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. His career numbers against this pitcher, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. No, and here's one that misses to the Chicago second baseman. It's a ball and a strike. And now a right hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. One out, nobody on. Right. Up high, 2 and 1 now. That's a good pitch to lay off right there that cutter inside and that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of and a lot of times if you do swing at that cutter in you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat and now it'll rattle up against the wall and he'll pull into second with one away the baseball is a game of streaks and runs and he is the on bat. one right now no question he's swinging the bat very well of late and when that's the case you can't wait to get in the batter's box definitely the case in this game that's his second base knock this one for extra bases that's now two hits so far for him in this one into the box now Javier Baez fouled away. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. Ball Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Runner at second here with one man out. And it's fouled away. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And this is pulled hard, but foul. Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there. Another 2-2 offering. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. One out and a runner on second base. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. You know taking you inside the mind of a batter right here you can't get an auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Now a slider here but this will miss off the plate away and it's ball four. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to the entice pitcher, him with that 3 2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Striding in once again, Wilson Contreras. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a line drive. 
but a foul ball. Ball. Takes a pitch high and away for ball, ball, ball one. Ball. First and second now, one man out. Fouled off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Iglesias. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Rounded slowly to the left side. He's got it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now back, second baseman, Ramon. Uriah. Settling in now, Ramon Urias. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. From the stretch. Bases are empty, one man out. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Back goes Hayward, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Here's the fourth hit of the game, and it's a good one. Puts a good swing on this thing, and it goes for a double. We'll see if they can build on it here. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Line to the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Up next for the Orioles, the third baseman, Renato Nunez. So stepping in, Renato Nunez. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Shot toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. He was on cruise control the entire game, but he gets brought back to reality here. An RBI double gets them on the board, and now that they've broken the dam, we'll see if they can generate some more runs going forward. So now to the plate, Dwight Smith Jr. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. He'll put this one away without much trouble, and the Cubs will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Well, he was gunning for a complete game shutout, but it just wasn't in the cards here. But anytime you can go nine innings and give up only one single run, you've done pretty good for yourself and your team. 7 1, the final score in tonight's. Chicago jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Yu Darvish earns win number four on the season, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Seven runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Orioles, one run, five hits, no errors. They left four men on base. The winning pitcher is Hugh Darvin. His record is now four and zero. Oh.
The loss goes to Alex Cobb. He falls to two and two. Time of the ball game, three hours and eight minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.